Hello everyone, my name is Lance L90 and welcome back to Let's Play Team Fortress 2, my tutorial series. This time we are covering the sniper. Um, I already have my cosmetic items on as usual. So uh, let's talk about the items first since uh, we don't want to get kicked in the middle of a game. Give me an AFK while I talk about them. <laughs> so uh, obviously the sniper has a sniper rifle, an SMG, and a Kukri, basic melee weapon. So, uh, with the sniper rifle in Team Fortress 2, you uh, right click to zoom in. And while you're zoomed in, you build up charge. And when it maxes out, you do a tremendous more amount of damage than you do normally from just being zoomed in for a short, short amount of time. Short amount of time or just no scoping. Um, so, let's go over these different ones. These two are the same thing, just there's a special version of it. The Bizarre Bargain, uh, base charge rate decreased by 20%, so um, it, it uh, charges up slower, by 20% slower, but each, uh, wait a minute, yeah that's right, Char it charges slower. Each scoped headshot that you make re re ah, decreases the amount of time it takes to charge. So if you get a bunch of headshots, you can make up for that and, and more. Uh, a scoped body shot or miss reduces the bonus. So it goes away if you... Uh, any any headway you make by getting headshots gets reduced if you uh, shoot someone in the body or miss. Hitsman's Heat Maker gains focus on kills and assists. Press reload to activate the focus. I've never used this gun, by the way, so I don't know exactly what it does but uh 25 percent faster charge and no unscoping when you're focused and uh minus 20 percent damage on a body shot yeah i haven't i haven't used that before so i don't don't know how to s simplify what it says there the huntsman is a bow and arrow that's a lot different than the sniper rifle it can it can still get headshots and still does the same amount of damage, but uh, it doesn't zoom in, which is both a good and bad thing. So you don't have the tunnel vision, so to speak, with the scope, but uh, you also aren't zoomed in. Also, it has a uh, curve to its shot, so you have to keep that in mind. The Machina, on when it's fully charged up, it does 15% more damage. And when it's fully charged up, its uh, shot can penetrate players, so it can kill two people potentially. Uh, it can't fire unless it's zoomed, so it can't. You can't uh, no scope with it, and it fires tracer rounds, so they can they can find where you're at when you shoot. There's like a solid line between you and where you shot. Sydney Sleeper does a plus twenty five percent charge rate, and when you hit people with it. Uh, it applies Jurati to them for 8 seconds, and uh, Jurati makes it so they take mini crits. It has no random critical hits and no headshots. The SMGs, the, they didn't add a new SMG until kind of recently. Before it was all these different things, so we got Jurati, uh, which is what we talked about briefly before. But this one is a can that you throw, and it covers multiple people instead of just the one person that you hit with it. Uh, coats them in mini crits, and they. Uh, it also puts out fires. It's a jar of piss, by the way. <laughs> the razor back blocks a single backstab, so if the spy tries to backstab you, it doesn't work. And uh, you'll, it'll also play a noise that you got backstabbed, so you'll be able to uh, go try to kill the spy. Uh, Darwin's Danger Shield it has 20, 25 max health. It has a plus 15 bullet, present, bullet damage resistance, which that is actually new. Didn't used to do that. It used to just be the health bonus. About a 20% explosive damage vulnerability. Cozy Camper, plus one health regenerated per second. Uh, no flinching when you're zoomed in. And uh, knockback is reduced by 20% when you're zoomed in. 
Um, but you take 20% more damage. It's also new. It used to only it used to only heal you over time. It didn't have any drawbacks, but now it has all sorts of drawbacks and stuff. And the cleaner's carbine, when you kill someone, you gain mini crits for 8 seconds. Uh, has a 20% 20, 20 smaller clip, 35% uh, slower firing speed, no random crit blades. Kukri is a basic melee weapon. Well, for some reason, it always feels like his uh, Kukri is better than the basic me melee weapons. But it should, it's technically the same. But it just seems to crit more often than stuff. Uh, conscientious ejector and frying pan, it's for everyone. We've been said multiple times at this point. The bushwhacker crits whenever a normally mini crit, uh, which means pretty much when people are covered in Durati. Uh, has no random critical hits and uh, take 20% more fire damage. The M. Night Shyamalan increases 25% uh, increase in damage when your health is less than 50%, and 25% uh, um, decrease in damage when your health is above 50%. Tribalman shoes on hit causes, when you, when you hit people, causes them to bleed for 6 seconds, and it uh, does 50% less damage. So the uh, sniper's weapons, all these extra ones, are uh, pretty heavily balanced compared to some of the other classes, so, like, I don't exactly have, like, a melee weapon in this list that I can recommend, because they all have pretty pretty steep penalties along with their downs, upsides. Same for the SMG, same, uh, not quite the same for the sniper rifle, but we'll get to that later. Right now, we're gonna go into payload. By the way, for new players, I don't really recommend that you play the sniper. Just because all new players play the sniper. Okay, there's not very many people in the server. A lot of new players play the sniper because he's more similar to a class that you might see on like Call of Duty or something. Since he has a sniper rifle and some machine gun, whereas every other class in Team Fortress 2. All their guns are, like, extremely inaccurate and stuff. Okay, that's even emptier. <laughs> Can I get a full server, please, Valve? I'd appreciate it. Trying to, trying to record a video here, Valve. Not asking for much. Okay, here we go. Ugh, there's already two snipers. Dang it. Why are they even sniping on this part of the map? It's not... Like I said, all the new players play snipers, so there's always a lot of snipers and servers. Uh, let's see what we get this time. As long as there's enough players in this next one, I'm just gonna play it. Five. Not enough, I guess. Uh, except there's so few players that there's no one on combat. And now there's another sniper. Whatever. I'm just gonna... Oh. Oh, it's still in the waiting for players phase, so... Yeah, the other players are just gonna have to switch. I'm not switching. I have a video to record. Because I've... Disclaimered at about pretty much every episode of this tutorial series. You can't play what you want to play, you gotta play what the team needs. I'm only... I'm only being unflexible on what I'm playing right now because I have a tutorial video to make.
so you can see how our see how our charge charges up as we're zoomed in. And the circle in the center of our view gets a little bit bigger. Mission begins in thirty seconds. So the sniper's job is to kind of kill the classes that are extremely hard to take down, like the heavy because uh, he has a lot of health, but the sniper does so much damage with a headshot that we can kill him in one shot anyway. Which is what I'm going to try to do. As long as I can get this shot off before the medic uber charges him. Uh, he started moving. Dang it. <clears throat> Got him. Wasn't a, wasn't a headshot, but it was still enough to kill him. Ah, he out snipes me. And that's the other job of the sniper is to kill the other snipers. And that's just up to whoever has the faster trigger finger, pretty much. In my case, it wasn't fast enough. <laughs> I shot him in the crotch. And we're gonna. Oop. Try to kill that NG as well. We do a fair amount of damage against sentries and stuff as well. See, I took it down. Not enough, not enough combat classes to push the cart right now. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, our team is suffering from a lack of... Well, we have some combat classes. They're just not the best players, I guess. Oh, I sniped a spy. <laughs> I was trying to snipe the medic and I killed a spy who was invisible. Okay, we're... How many spies do you have? Like, four? Oh yeah, all talk isn't on. Pretty sure that's a spy. You don't get a hit, a hit noise when you shoot spies, but so you just have to keep shooting them if you think they're a spy. And I was right. Okay, push. Ah. Uh. They have like five spies, it's really annoying. have so many spies, it's ridiculous. Where is that sentry? Oh, it's down there. Ugh, that's hard to kill. By the way, the submachine gun does a lot of damage, so... If you have an opportunity, you might as well use it as well. <laughs> uh, ah, he hit me with again. Dang it. Our combat classes aren't doing their job. I'm going to go up this way. Might be a little bit more better. Can I actually snipe from up here? Not exactly. I'm going to go up here, I guess, then. Dang it. Spy scout. Ah, 
Ouch. Dang it. Can't get a break. Oh, now he's dead. God dang it. Don't let them... <sighs> I could kill the heavies if they wouldn't let me get freaking killed by freaking Pyro. There we go. Come on at me, bro. Heal before you hit that thing again. Fuck. Damn. Ouch. Try to out snipe the sniper, but. It's also really hard to snipe scouts, by the way. We don't need this spy. Okay, I think we're gonna talk about items now, because uh, we're having some trouble without our items. So, uh,. I'm going to replace the SMG with the Razorback since spies are such a problem. I'm going to replace the sniper rifle with the Sydney Sleeper because I love giving, putting Jurati on people. And uh, I'm not not going to change this item, I don't think. I'll just make it the frying pan. The ball ain't moving. I like putting Jurati on people because when they're covered in the Jurati, the they will uh, back off. Okay, that's a spy. I just want to try to get the cart to the point. I'll get a little bit more time. Push it. There we go. So all we had to do is just get to the point so we get some extra time. Oh, great. Hey, load a sniper in. I mean, a pyro in. I actually have more points than that pyro, even though the pyro's been kicking my butt. Oh, crap. Ugh, I thought I hit him. Okay, I hit another spy. <laughs> Oops, I stepped on the wrong thing. There we go. Notice we haven't been. Yeah, that's a spy. Spy's pyro. Didn't mean to do that. I have a I have a macro set up for a specific thing. Oh. 
Oh, come on, I was to the health. Bumped into a spy there. Push it. No sentry. Actually have this, I don't think we would, but you know, so once I switched that razor back, they weren't getting attacked by spies anymore. Tends to be what happens. Okay, this map is. Just, this part of the map isn't really good for snipers, but we can try. I can snipe under this train if I'm lucky. Okay, I hit a shot an invisible spy again. Oh, that spy. He's bad. Oh, I'm SMG. See, without your SMG, you can't really help people out in medium range. So I think we're gonna switch back to it at this point. It didn't switch. I'd notice them a little bit sooner. That ninja had a long time to stop that, but it didn't really help. This map isn't exactly the best for sniping, as I said. Here we go. Got him. Yeah, sniping contests are a little bit scary. <laughs> I think I need to go to the other side. No, I can't. Uh, gotta go this way. Oh! It's another sniper. That was the one we killed earlier. Oh, god damn, we have like three snipers. Ugh. Freaking hate this. Oops, let's uh, change servers for a little bit. We're almost out of time for the video, but... I hate it when this kind of thing happens when I'm trying to record these tutorials. Mmm, so few people. 
I don't know what's what's up with the server search today, but it's not sticking to me in very good servers. And that's the same map anyway, so. I kind of prefer to be an offensive sniper than a defensive sniper, but... What are we gonna do? step out because I don't want the enemies to know I'm here. Pop our heads out at like five seconds. Mission begins in ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Ah, I'm like lagging or something. There we go. Try, but like the second I fired, they didn't get back behind cover and stuff. I said I prefer to be an offensive sm sniper than a defensive one. Wow, he's already here. You have to Jurati. Even if you miss, you, I mean, even if you don't get a good shot on him, you can still get him covered with Jurati. Which then, with a follow-up shot, you can. Okay, I'm dead. With a follow-up shot, you can kill them, or your allies can kill them. Okay, they're just gonna, they're just gonna win because my team was that bad. And we have three snipers. We don't really need three snipers. As I said, everyone plays sniper. Whoa. Did I just move through this? I did. Got him. So, demo man. moment. Uh-oh. As soon as he decloaks, I'm going to try to snipe him, but... 
Ah, he got moved by a bomb at the last second. People are moving very strangely. It's making it really hard to. Eh, I think we lost. We're gonna explode before it's too late. <laughs> That's all the time we have for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed and have a good day.